Hey, we are live on location at the Broadwater Theatre Complex in Hollywood for We Make Movies International Film Festival as the official podcast partner. These shorter special episodes are with selected filmmakers. You can also catch all of the interviews you may have missed on our YouTube channel and your preferred podcast platform. I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsors, Band Pro Film and Digital, Roscoe Laboratories, DD Microphones, and Black Magic Design. Thanks for being here. Whether you are talent or crew, finding the technical solutions to your problems is hard, and what's even harder is knowing where to go. So we have a tip for anyone listening, and that's to head over to our sponsor, Band Pro. Whether you're looking for high-end cameras and lenses or looking for guidance on what's needed to start your equipment journey, Band Pro has the gear and the team that you need to thrive. They are... Fun fact, the exclusive representative of Ingenue's complete cinema line for all of North and South America. But the thing I love most is how fantastic their customer support is. Not only do they have a great team to answer any product questions you might have, but they also have a talented team of in-house technicians that you can actually talk to to get your equipment back up and running. So visit bampro.com or meet them in person and make sure to say hi. I am seated here with Paul L. Carr, director producer of Interlude, which the logline I've been given is as Michelangelo as let me start over. As Michelangelo Antonioni said, a film you can explain in words is not a real film. So let's explain in words your real film. Okay, and I don't completely Even though we shouldn't be able to. We're going to try. Yeah, I don't completely agree with that quote, but the, the point of my uh using that quote was to um, kind of tell people it's okay to think whatever you want to think about this film. It's not like a strict narrative, unlike um, most films. All, all my other films previous to this were um, features and had you know, a beginning, middle, and end. This one is just evocative and um, is set to opera music and um, sung by a friend of mine, Kathy Terrell, who I hadn't seen for like 20 years, and I reconnected with her. and. Um, and uh, incorporates some beautiful scenery from um, North Carolina, Blue Ridge Mountains, waterfalls, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So um, it's just it's meant to be a surreal, uh, dreamlike piece. Wonderful. Art film. Yeah, art mm -hmm. film all the way. And this opera music, your friend Kathy, who... Kathy? Yeah. Who yes. you reconnected with after 20 years. Um, how did you go about explaining what you wanted to do to her well she you know when i told her what the film was about you know kind of i said it's not really about you but it's kind of about you and mm -hmm. it's it's about life and death and mortality and art and appreciate the moment and and then i said do you understand what i mean at all and she says i have no idea what the hell you're talking about <laughs> but uh, luckily my my friend uh, nick schultz who shot and edited the film says yeah i think I think I see what you're going for. So, you know, I needed a guy, a person with good interpretive powers that could kind of, you know, create something. Because, mm -hmm. like, I, I picked up uh, or picked up pieces of her performances, and I would suggest, I think this would be good, or that would be good, or maybe we could use this here. But he really shaped it into um, a piece, and he actually he kind of broke into three movements, so it's kind of like a move, uh, a musical piece. Um, yeah, so it's like, uh, I guess it was a a bit of a risk to do a film that doesn't really have a straight, you know, narrative story, but um, I still felt good about it that it would work out. Right. So. And it's for you first. So if you feel yeah. good about it, yeah, that's yeah. good. So I enjoyed the whole process. Plus, <laughs> after doing like 82-minute features, this is so much easier. Right. A seven-minute film, I'll take it. You know, a yeah. lot quicker cheaper easier and uh not like two years in post-production with a bunch of misery so and you can be a little bit more creative throw your heart into it kind of yeah so it was nice to do a short yeah and um fantastic you did mention that you um incorporated degraded archival footage yeah. into the theme how did you do that what does that well, mean to incorporate footage into um, the theme yeah, well, it's funny because Nick, my editor, said, hey, you know, this, he goes, I've, I've tried to rip some of this from, it was already on a VHS tape, now it's on a mm -hmm. DVD and it looks pretty bad. And I said, you know what, that's good because that's kind of what this is about. It's about, you know, the new overtaking the old and aging and, you mm -hmm. know, 
bodies degrade, technology degrades, you know, everything moves on to the next phase. And um, so that's kind of like what, what the whole film is about. So let's just, let's just use it and, and embrace it and not worry about it, you know, so. Fantastic. Yeah. So did you incorporate any kind of talent into this besides the music? Uh, actually, no, it was really easy because I just had um, Kathy, uh, she, you know, she acts in some scenes, but she really like, she's just, she's not even speaking. She's driving a car or whatever. Um, okay. She's sitting by this st stream in the mountains and these flowers come floating by. Don't spoiler alert. <laughs> but um, anyway, so there was, there was no, um, she didn't have to do any speaking. And um, so, yeah, so I didn't, it, it was, it was a nice short tight crew. It was just four people, which was really great. And um, cause you know, less people, less likelihood of problems, you mm -hmm. know. What's your favorite thing that you learned in doing something so different from what you normally do? Uh, just, you know, if I have a hunch and I believe in it, just, yeah, believe in it and just do it and don't worry about, you know, the outcome. If somebody doesn't like it, that's okay. You know, yeah. you know, I don't, I don't make it to try to please everybody. And, um, but I felt confident that at least some people would get something from it and get some enjoyment out of it. So. It worked for me at least. You know? That's great. So yeah. Well, there you have it. Make your art for you and some people will like it and hopefully lots of people <laughs> like it. Paul Carr, everybody. Thank you very much. Thanks Interlude for me. screens tonight yeah. at 9.45 p.m. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this interview. As a thank you, CFA has partnered with We Make Movies to get you discounted production management services, including production insurance. For that, go to wemakemovies.org slash insurance and enter code CFA23 in the intake form to get 10% off your quote. Also, we have partnered with We Audition to get you a 25% discount on your membership. Join We Audition at weaudition.com and use CFA25. Make sure you're following the CFA podcast wherever you listen to stay up to date on discounts, events, and new episodes. Thanks for joining us.